Welcome to the Double E Show. Bad strategy, horribly simulated. What's going on, everybody? Jibba73 back with the Double E Show. It's Foundation. Welcome back to Season 3, everybody. Welcome to Doubleton. Um, when we left off uh, last season, uh, we had completed a monastery and we had gotten beer production up and running. Uh, we were making weaponry, we were doing all kinds of stuff. Uh, we are going to be starting anew, and uh, we're going to be using a plethora of mods. So, uh, let me escape, right? Uh, no, I gotta go here, and I wanna go out to main menu. Uh, maybe it's in settings I can show? No, of course not. Uh, auto save in cloud, quick save in cloud, auto save. Um, if I'm auto-saving in the cloud, do I need to auto-save as well? I'm going to go, um, no, auto-save in cloud. I'm going to do that, okay. Oh, no, auto-save, it has to be that. Okay, edge scrolling, uh, graphics, da -da 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 audio, good, okay. Um, yeah, so we're going to hop out to the, uh, to the main menu, and I'm going to show you uh, the mods that we are using in this playthrough. So we are going to be using a decorate, decorative stuff monument. Uh, some stuff for the decoration of your village. The water mill set. The grape market. So we can sell the grapes that the uh, monastery makes uh, without necessarily having to make wine. Um, the castle set. The village additions mod, which has all this stuff. The medieval stone wall set, which has this. The Entertainment Mod, which has this. The Walls Edition, which has this. The Sheep Cheese Production, so you can make goat cheese, which has this. Uh, Balance Trading, which just adds a few other uh, villages to trade with. And uh, uh, one that's uh, aligned with the clergy and one with the kingdom. And um, it's not really a cheat, it just gives you uh, additional uh, trading opportunities. You. You know, if you want to cheat, there's ways to do that. But uh, that's not what this is. Free land, sort of a cheat. So the king has been killed and defeated. Uh, it's sad, I know. Uh, but now the land is free, and we have no one to pay taxes to. Uh, that's just so I can uh, expand the land or you know area as I need to to build uh, our our kingdom. Um, the harbor mod, which adds uh, this stuff, adds a simple harbor with a boat. Um, the medieval fair, which adds uh, a collection of medieval fair themed decorations. And then the large warehouses, which um, uh, increases the amount of units you can uh, store per socket and gets rid of the, uh, the negative effect of desirability, even though I still won't put it smack dab in the middle of my, my, my housing. Um, if they happen to be skirting the edge of it, I don't want that to prevent them from being able to upgrade. So those are the mods we're using. We will go back into Doubleton, which is on a coastal map, by the way. So now, what I thought about with this map that would look good is um, I could have my my um, my manor house and castle uh, up up here on these tiers, and then I, I can build um, layers of, of fencing um, going down um, the the hillside. And I thought that that would uh, that would look really good, but I I, I don't know how any of these these mods actually look and the first thing we have to do is build a village center uh, right there it's the first thing we have to do um, so get out of there I can't even go into these other things uh, this shows our territory um, in fact let's, let's do this I'll, I'll, I'll hit this 
and that shows uh oh no there, there we go so what i did was i expanded to um this area here right that way we have some definite uh, uh shoreline for uh harbor and uh boat stuff yeah so but we do have uh, plenty of resources in this particular area uh to start out it is pretty heavily laden with resources um, we have a good amount of trees and the like, but I need to make a village center. So I am going to make my village center down here, right in this area. So we're going to go click. I'm going to go village center. I'm going to zoom right in. And that is going to go uh, control. Like so. So, now, uh, we have extraction, which is unlocked. We have uh, all kinds of uh, buildings. We have this uh, locked, requires 12 serfs. Okay. Um, so, we can do a bunch of stuff there. We can do a bunch of stuff there. I need nine newcomers. I need a rustic church, nine newcomers. But I can do all of the decoration I want. Excellent. Uh, decorative bush, sheep statue, a wagon decorations right on yeah I can do all kinds of neat stuff here that's gonna work out good palm trees I can put them down on the coast if I wanted to an anvil grain sack very nice all right cool so uh, general parts edit uh, back in here uh, so that was those decorations we get then we get the town square up front cross is one wood. We got a wooden gate. Uh, we come over here to the walls. We have simple stone walls, uh, which we'll, we'll draw some out. So we've got those. Let's uh, get a better look here. So we got simple stone walls like like so. Uh, we have ramparts with uh, hoardings. Right. Like that. Uh, we have ramparts with stone... Uh, with stone machicolations. Okay. Machicolations. Works for me. Okay. Uh, we've got ramparts with stone and wood roof. Oh, that looks good, too. Hang on. We've got ramparts with uh, tiled roofs. Very nice. Um... We've got iron fence with dark stone. Ooh, that is going to be lovely. Um, let's see, iron fence with light stone. Yep, equally lovely. Uh, iron fence with dark stone and ornaments. Okay, got to get close for this one. Oh. See the tops of the uh, the metal spikes. Some of them have fleur de lis. Okay. Uh, light stone with ornaments. Going to be the same thing. Dark stone brick wall. Ooh, that's that's nice as well. Uh, let's see. Light stone brick wall. It's going to be the same thing. Wooden barrier. Oh, there you go. Could use that around markets or. Or the, f the uh, fair or whatever. That'll work. Wooden barrier. Flag fence. Red and black. Ah. Like jousting. Aha. Uh -huh. um, flag fence. Fl fen flag? Yeah, you say it fast. Flag fence. Blue and yellow. There you go. Uh, blue and yellow. And last one. Green and white. Right on. So we have some options for walls. Uh, estate manager. We don't have anything unlocked, which is fine. What we do need to do is paint some areas for extraction. So we are going to extract. Nice and round donut here. 
right on. So we got this nice round donut. We're going to come over here. We're going to put an extraction on the berries. With just the berries. Okay. Whoops. No, I did that wrong. Okay. There. 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 And there. So we do the berries. And then if we come over this way, we can do extraction on the stone. All right. Extraction there. Oh, wrong one. Okay. And then we'll just go blip, blip, soften those corners a bit. Blip, blip. There we go. And blip, blip, and blip. There you go. So that'll extract stone, hopefully. That'll extract the berries. And that will extract the trees. Um, that looks really good down there, like that. And we've already got some villagers right on. So if we come in here, is there anything we can build to store this type of stuff? Well, we can do the gathering hut right off the bat. So we can put the gathering hut. Um, let's see, how would I face this? We're going to have to harbor that way, so I'm going to put the gathering hut facing that way. So it's facing the town center. And we'll go right there. Okay. And then, so that's the gathering hut. Lumber camp will cut those trees down. Well, stone cutter camp. There we go. Come over here. And uh, I can put the stone cutter camp. Um, here it is, like like in here, right inside the uh, the zone for extraction. Right. So we've got stone cutter camp to be built. Move it off to the side. We have the gatherer's hut to be built. Move it off to the side. We've got the lumber camp to be built, which for now, we'll just go in here. Um, or do I want to put it in this clearing? Uh, if, I, if I go there, it doesn't take out any trees, right? So I'm going to go there with it. And uh, we have 20 tools, so we're using up 15 of them quickly. Um, and then stonemason's hut. Uh, print cost 25 gold. Resources needed to build. Cloth. Don't have it. Okay. We want a well. Uh, front cost is wood and stone. So we will come down here to the village center. Ah, moving too quickly here. And uh, going to be facing that way. And we'll put it like so. Yep, we don't have any stone, but we'll get it. And that's all I want to do to start out. So we will crack on. We'll go times two speed. Uh, quest completed. Place a lumber camp. Right on. Uh, assign a new builder. Yep. So, okay. Let's come into our villager list. Uh, workplace list. There is no workplace yet, so... Sophie, Isabel, Otto. Otto, you're going to become a builder. You are our first builder. Right on. And in fact, uh, Martin, you are going to be our second builder. That should work. Very good. 
Get rid of that. And people can start working on that stuff. And then we're going to need uh, two gatherers, one stone mason, and two uh, lumberjacks. That'll work. Let's go times three. Very nice. Okay, so gathering hut is done. I'm going to assign one, two, because as I realized, I have uh, three, four people left to do the other jobs. So, they will do that. At the lumber camp, it is. We are going to assign one, two to the lumber camp. Got it. Assign a woodcutter. Paint extraction zone. Produce berries. Excellent. Come on over this way. All right. You have a new quest, uh, a granary. Right on. Um, Let's actually, again, take a look at the extraction zone. Um, I want to extract. So I want to leave the trees there. I want to see if I can extract to there. And there. All right. And I want to see how far I can get these uh, lumberjacks to extract so I know the, the reach. Very good. Okay, so we will unpause. I don't know why I paused it for them to extract it or for me to paint the extraction. Okay, build a granary. Assign a new transporter. So if I come in here, do I now have a granary? I do. Okay. So now my granary. I'm going to have. Um, let's uh, get a good look at it here. That's the front door, right? I'm, I'm going to put it like this. And I'm going to go granary right there. Will that work? Well, it sort of does. I'll go granary there. Um, you know what? I'm going to whip it around. I'm going to go granary there. Okay, stone cutter camp is done. I'm going to put one person in. Okay. So just the well left for the time being. Um, how many workers do I have unemployed? Just one. Right on. And they're going to become a, a uh, transporter. Excellent. Excellent. Everything they need? Nope. Still need the stone. Right on. So, bring in one stone. So, if I uh, sort by um, job. Yep, that's better. That is bet for. Okay. Come over here. They are doing their during this to clear the trees, right on. They're gonna run out of storage space at some point, but, right on. So now if I go workplace list, look at that. Two of three, two of three, one of five. Very nice, I might actually leave that open up there. I like that. And, uh, keep this down in the corner here because we get the uh, message pop-ups in this area. Right on. Okay, so there's Doubleton. That is how we're starting out. 
And uh, we're going to try to progress through everything that we need to uh, in order to... Um, I don't know where the money's going. Minus three a day. Oh, you're paying wages? Yeah. We have to, we have to get a market and, and stuff like that set up before too long. Um, I don't even know if uh, market is unlocked. Um, market is unlocked. I can build a food stall. Um, if I come down here, I go like this. Oops. I can go right over here. I can go right there. Just like that. And um, I can start construction. And uh, just do a basic food stall to start. Yeah, that wouldn't hurt. It wouldn't hurt at all. Okay, so we need one more stone for the well. Which is in here. The well is in there. Right on. Okay, well is complete. Excellent. Um, maintenance cost is 15 gold. But we're not paying taxes to anybody, so don't really have to worry about that. And we're going to come back around over here. And the granary. Okay, so the market is done, right? I am going to uh, pause for a second. Uh, stone cutter, wood cutter, wood cutter. Right? I'm going to take uh, a builder out. And... Um, what would you be called? Market Tender. Okay, I'm going to take one of my builders, it'll be Martin, and you will become a Market Tender. And you are going to sell berries, and that'll bring in income. Right? That is what that should do. Okay. I'm not sure why it still should... Can't find place to work. Um, that would be this thing. So, parts. There you go. You're in. You're in, and you're working. Excellent. Now. Yeah. So, that door is kind of buried a little bit, but that's in there. Now, let's, uh, let's assign an available f villager. Okay, so Philippe went in. Uh, first one is going to hold berries. Um, I suppose I'm going to have to move this over then, huh? Uh, that gave us 100 gold, very good. Uh, first one's going to hold berries, uh, and we will stock the maximum. No, we'll just accept. Um... And then herbs, flour, wheat, nothing else we can uh, store right now. So we're just going to store berries for the time being. And that'll do it for our first episode of Season 3 in Doubleton. So listen, if you like what you're watching, hit the like and subscribe button down below. I have grand schemes for this. But if you have any tips and tricks to help me accomplish that, put them in the comments below because I will read them. And with that, I will catch you next Thursday for another episode of Foundation. Peace. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more, check out the playlist above or watch what YouTube tells you to on the right. Oh yeah, and subscribe.